Well, good morning, everyone. Hello again. Welcome to another Yukon Bot video. Uh, just topping up with gas here. Not so much in the sea because that's full, but topping up the truck. We are heading out finally on a trip to do a little bit of uh, sea camping today. We've been talking about this for uh, the last couple of videos, and finally today we're going to go out and do a little sea camping. And I'm not alone on this trip today. There's going to be two other sea at least two more as far as I know. And uh, we're heading out to an area just north of Perry Sound. It's called Snug Harbor. And it's just, just north of Perry Sound. That's where we're going to launch from. It's just a one night overnight trip out on uh, Georgian Bay. Spend one night out in a tent, uh, three tents actually, and uh, check that out and see how that goes. The other two guys haven't done any sea camping. I have in the past. So we're just doing a little kind of test trip today. They just want to see how it goes, what they need, what they've got with them, all that sort of stuff. Going to be a little different because there's three tents and three places that we're going to need to park sea overnight. So that'll make it just a little bit different out there. We'll see how that all fat pans out. So just topping up with some gas here. Should be up at the place to launch from in about a half an hour. And we'll show you what that looks like in just a bit. Right now, got to get some gas. And you know what? Gas has come down a bit. Since the last time I filled up with the Sea-Doo, we're down 20, 25 cents a liter from then. So that's, that's good news. See you up there in just a bit. Two and a half hours later, and I have made it to the launch point. Boat launch, $12 in, $24 in and out. And then there's probably a parking fee on top of that somewhere, so we'll see what that is. Here's the launch here at uh, Snug Harbor. Pretty good launch, it works pretty well. Straight in here, then you just sort of head out the bay from there. Ah, Greg is here. All we're waiting now is for Andrew, and that'll be the three of us. Bob, Greg, and Andrew today. Greg and uh, Andrew from the Sea-Doo Tours Riding Group, so they're experienced riders, but I think this is the first time that they have launched from this location. I've been here a couple of times before. All right, Mr. Greg, let's have a look at this setup here. Uh, Check, <laughs> he's still figuring, it's a little late now. I don't know. Okay, so Greg's built this platform thing. It's like a two layer thing that straps onto the back platform of the Sea-Doo. Gives you layers, a layer up top, and a layer down underneath, right? That's the concept? Yeah, that's the concept. Two layers, and then you just sort of keep tying stuff until you get it all wrapped on there. That's pretty damn... Yeah, not bad. I oh, I see. Look, you made these little these little plate hooks here yeah. for hooking underneath, and then with a ratchet strap. It's solid. Good concept. It's solid. He says it's solid till he hits the first three <laughs> waves out there, and all the shit comes off and into shut the water. Up, he is loaded. Okay, this is a good setup, the saddlebag setup. That, yeah, that looks like really good gear. That's all waterproof with those uh, double zippers and yep. that's cool. And then one of these things, I've got something like that as well that I'm bringing. Uh, I've got an Ortley bag. This is, this is similar. It's wall waterproof once you tie the top. Yep. Then what's this, your cooler on the back, a Yeti? Yep. Yeti cooler system. And then the saddlebags, and this is just going to strap on top here, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, it's all made for motorcycles. Yeah, and I use my bag off the motorcycle as well. It was was for that as well. So that. good. As long as a rock. Yeah, that'll be good. Good. All right. So everybody's just kind of getting set up here, and uh, shortly we'll put the stuff in the water, then park the vehicles. Just a quick look at my setup. Here's the uh, the Link cooler system. Another Link product for, uh, you know, some clothing and stuff like that. A little bit of food in there. Ground tarp in here in the Ortley bag is the tent, the Thermarest, uh, pillow, whatever. All that kind of stuff. This is a fold-up kind of chair. Life jacket. We are hauling a little bit of wood of us. Each one of us is bringing a little bit of wood for a campfire tonight in case we can't find a lot of wood around the site. So that'll be there. And then, of course, the front is fairly full as well. But the whole idea is to get to your camp spot, get all of this stuff unloaded off the sea Dew. That'll lighten the load quite a bit, and then we can uh, be unencumbered by all of this stuff for exploring around Georgian Bay throughout the day. All right, let's go inside and uh, pay. So I think it's $24 for in and out and parking overnight is what he's going to charge us. And they've got, by the way, a really nice restaurant here. It's called Gillies. And they've uh, redone the whole kitchen, apparently, over the winter months. Fixed it up quite a bit. And we may end up having lunch here tomorrow afternoon before we pull out. We'll see. Let's go in and pay. How are you? Yes, how are you? Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. 
So the restaurant's been fixed up over the winter and uh, the food here is really good. So we're going to have maybe lunch here tomorrow. But right now we pay for the parking and the in and out. So I'm told it's about $24. Uh, yeah, so for normally we do charge for in and out lunch, but we're going to throw that in. He's, that's what he said to us. Yeah. Put down on a visa if I can, keep some cash. Is that okay? Yeah. Good. So you... Just back you... here, there's a. Sorry? Are you paying for all three? No, just me. There's a little store back here. Well, in case you've forgotten some provisions or things like that, you could stock up a little bit before you head out. By the way, if you need to buy firewood, you can also buy it right here. I bought it uh, at a Petro Canada station just on the way, the way in here. Kind of pricey there, 14 bucks for a bag of wood. Not sure what it is here. They don't have a sign, but probably equivalent to that. Looks like about the same amount of wood as well. So if you need wood, you can also get it right here at the, at the dockside. That'll be good. Half an hour, 40 minutes later, everybody is loaded for camping and all three sea doos are in the water. This is really a nicely protected little harbor, snug harbor. It's a narrow entrance coming in here and it's a nice little marina. So there's a nice sand beach right in here, big beach right there. I think they've got some cottages here and stuff like that that you can rent. And if you've got kids and stuff like that, this would be a perfect little spot. Got a nice little bay in here. You got the restaurant right up here, Gillies. And a good launch spot, nice sand beach. Perfect. This might be an excellent camp. Look, there's a table here. This could be an excellent camping spot. There's places for three tents. There's a fire pit. There's even some grates here to cook on. Another bay in the back, perfectly secluded in here. This is not a bad spot at all. There's shade. There's a place for cooking. I like this spot. I think this is gonna be the spot. So I would say we kind of lucked out with this spot because I think one of my biggest concerns was finding a spot where three machines can be parked overnight and be safely kept out of the wind where there isn't rock, where you have a nice base for them. And this is gonna work out really nicely because it's all sand, kind of muddy sand in here. And look how protected it is in here. It's just a little bay within a bay. And there's no way there's gonna be any wind in here tonight. So we can just almost leave the machines just like this tonight. And that'll work out just beautiful. So my concern has been alleviated. I thought parking was gonna be a bit of an issue for us. But this is, uh, this is good. This worked out to be a good spot. Oh, look at this. What? Jumping, Jesus! What? Oh no, a view place. A lookout. One coffee right here. Oh, this is perfect. Bench, everything. Fire pit. And the sun should be setting there. Out that way. So the camp's set up, three tents are set up, chairs are set up, all of that sort of stuff, cook stove. I think what we're gonna do now is just kinda load up a bit and head out onto Georgian Bay and do a little exploring. We got most of the gear now off of the sea Dew, so it'll be a lot easier to, to drive the man maneuver around and it'll go out and have a look around the lake and just see what we can find.
just came offshore a little bit from uh, the mainland, came across to these islands out here. This is uh, something called Big McCoy Island, and there's a lot of rock out here. It's also fairly shallow, so I want to be a bit careful here because it's not that deep. See if I can pull in here a little bit. Potentially, this could be a pretty good camping spot in here as well. Uh, lots of rock, no sand out here, so you'd have to kind of get sheltered somewhere. But lots of places to set up a tent, have a campfire. Quite a neat area out here. It's three, four kilometers off the mainland. Oh, look at the silt I'm turning up. Oh. There's just a rock ledge, a rock shelf all the way along here. Wow. Just check out this little bay I'm pulling into. Kind of rock on both sides. Wow. Okay, I just found this little inlet here and amongst all the rock, just pulled in a little bit, got off and kind of slid in a little bit. Just look at all this rock out here. Wow. Very pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to pull the drone out and get a couple of drone shots from around this area. Just before I head back into the campsite, one last look out there at Georgian Bay. I'll get some more shots from land a little bit later on tonight when the sun gets even a little lower on the horizon. 6.35, 6.40 now. Beautiful. Now, if I think I'm right, camp is up here somewhere. I don't know if you can make them out up there. There's the boys on the hill up there. <laughs> Perfect. Can't ask for a better view. <laughs> well, I guess I found the spot okay. All right, let's get in there. That's the McDonald's Golden Arch over top of the fireplace there tonight. It wasn't burning too well till we put the arch over top and then it just kind of kicked in. Beautiful. Just starting to get dusky now. It's about, uh, what time is it guys? We don't know. Well, it's getting on about nine o'clock at night now. We've had dinner. We've had a fire. The sea dews I think are going to be fine right here tonight. I'm not going to worry about them, I'm not going to tie them up. It's perfectly calm in here. They're beached up onto the sand a little bit so they're not going to go anywhere. And way down over there we've got our fire going. Probably about an hour from now it'll get dark in Canada. This time of the year it doesn't get dark till about 9.30, 10. 
So, it's been a good day, day one. We're gonna camp tonight. Tomorrow we'll be back out to have a little look around some of the areas around Georgian Bay, and then head it back in. Good night from Georgia Bay. Well, it's the next morning we survived the night. It wasn't all that cold last night. I think we were down to about 13, 14 degrees, something like that, so that was all pretty good. And all three sea still here. We never even bothered to tie them up last night. They were just pushed up onto the mud a little bit, so they're all sitting, uh, f you know, fairly snug there, and uh, they were all exactly there this morning, so no problem with that. So I think this morning we're just going to have some breakfast and uh, get cleaned up, pack stuff up, and uh, start to make our way back because we've all got to be back in town for later on today. So I think that's going to do it, guys, for this uh, Yukon Bob adventure. Thanks for coming along on this first camping trip of the season out to Franklin Island, Georgian Bay. It's not all that far to get out here. It's only half an hour, 35, 40 minutes from uh, the launch point and uh, you're out here. Lots of kayakers, lots of canoers out here, that sort of thing. So we're just gonna pack up, get everything loaded back up onto the sea dews and head back in. So thanks for coming along. We'll see you guys all on the next Yukon Ba video. Stay safe out there. <laughs>